Hello there, and welcome back to the Expedition Mod Pack with me, Trionus, and the Temple of Doom. Well, the uh, pyramid that we were exploring in the last video, which I'm still trying to figure out. I've just kind of restarted the video exactly where we left off. Uh, so yeah, I'm still trying to find my way around this place. Oh, sounds like there's nasties around, so uh, we must be another way up or down. Uh, the only place I can still find is this guy here, uh, where the spider is, but I'm pretty sure that's not the way, though I'm probably wrong. There doesn't seem to be any other place for me to go. So, uh, obviously if you made any comments on the last video, I wouldn't have seen them. Um, so yeah, uh, so maybe someone might have said, you know, I need to do this to do this, but unfortunately, has it been straight after? I may have missed it completely. I'm going to have to drop down there to just double check, aren't I? Uh, that's the way I came up, if you remember, because I had to do some cobblestone to get up here. Um, yeah, I'm going to drop down there in one... Yeah, I'm going to drop down there and see what it is, but I'm pretty sure that this is not the way that we came. Or we need to go. Yeah, this takes us back here. Okay. So I'm going to go back up there. But saying that, getting rid of that has gone awfully quiet. Awfully quiet. So, I thought this place would have been bigger than this. So it's just started making me wonder if I have now finished this place because I mean, frankly there's absolutely no other sounds. Oops, did not mean to place you there. Hmm. Oh you know what I'm just gonna dig up and see. So there's another floor there. Definitely another floor there, but how do I get to it? By cheating. Why not? Hello? There was, there was no way other... No way other to get up here, was there? That's my way up. And got a few chests. Okay. Cool. Uh, just double checking that they're not trapped. Uh, five skies. Pork shop. Yummy. Sophie or Sophie. Or Sophie, not Sophie. Haha. <laughs> uh, some iron. Iron, a little bit of leather. A little bit of leather goes a long way. Uh, but. Yeah, that's that done. Yes. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if we actually conquered this place now. Now some bubbers. And that leads us outside. Yeah, it's so tall. Got to be more to it. There's got to be more to it than just this. Break into this place here, which probably looks like a tomb. There's just nothing else, is there? I'm 
absolutely nothing else. Hmm. Okay, and that just brings us back outside. Okay, uh, let's just destroy this place then. Oh. No, there's absolutely nothing. I think we have actually completed it. Got to have now. Yeah. Okay. Um. Another little bit of a disappointing quest, if you don't don't mind me saying. Uh. You see these places, and you think, oh yes, there's going to be a lot of goodies in there, but. I I think with how the Choco Quest one and how this one has turned out, we might just be better off sticking off, sticking with the roguelike dungeons, because these are boring, fruitless. But uh, yeah, if you want sandstone and some one well, already pre-made, then yeah, bring your digital man across here and dig this place out. Um. Wondering if there's anything below it. I very much doubt it though. Uh, but I want to have a quick look where we're at here. Just. Now uh, we're getting sand. That's it. Oh, actually. There's something down here. Another portal. The unactivated nether portal. Okay. Hmm. Did I activate the portal? See if it leads anywhere interesting other than the nether. And this is the obsidian. And this is uh, that little bit that we should have, uh, yes, yeah, so we should have actually broke through that to actually dig down, I see. Okay. Uh, well, iron, unfortunately though, I have no flint. I'm not saying that that nether portal will lead anywhere different, but it might be worth the gander. I'll find my way back out of this place, of course. That question. I need flint. I'm not going to mess around. That'll do. <laughs> I'm like I say, I wasn't going to mess around. Uh, I need a little bit of flint. And we might as well activate it, see if it leads anywhere uh, decent. I would not going to presume it does. But you never know. Uh, is there any gravel down here? No. Typical. Typical. Okay, let's just teleport home very quickly and then we will grab some flint. We've got some somewhere. Once the server wants to catch up with me, that is. Um flint. Flint, 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 flint. We've got some gravel. No problem there. Let me just get rid of these this XP. I'm not, like I say, I'm not expecting this to lead anywhere else other than the nether, but that as well. Quick look. Uh, I should not have come down here really. <laughs> I should not have entered through that. I should have just gone through the main entrance. Get 
guy in here. Right, let's see. Hey. Just expecting a normal nether portal. Yep. Which leads into the nether. Hmm. Oh. Nothing important there. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I uh, just wanted to check and see. Right, okay, back to the overworld and back to base. Right, okay, so I'll do a little bit of a catch up video then. Uh, we'll teleport us home. That was rather annoying again. Like I say, I think we're just going to be better off sticking with roguelike dungeons. So, uh, if you remember at the beginning of the last episode, I told you a few things have changed around here. Uh, I've done a little bit of work, not too much. Uh, first of all, you may notice this little item here. This is a uh, hourglass uh, from Botania. And what this does, uh, once you made it, uh, you can put sand in there, and if you put ten in there, it will count down ten, and then swap over and send a redstone pulse. If you put sixty in there, you'll get a minute's worth, and I'll send a redstone pulse that way. So pretty cool, especially next to this. Uh, I set it to about forty-five seconds each, and uh, even though I used up the majority of players' rods, which I'm recollecting again. Uh, I did gain a full mana pool and uh, so what I'm going to do I'm going to sleep away this night get things a little bit more right which makes sense to sleep away the night to make it bright yep <laughs> okay so uh what I'm going to do while I'm explaining what's going off, let's see if we can't make this uh, terra steel. I'm trying to actually remember how you made it. Uh, unfortunately, I seem to have mislaid my Botania book. <laughs> I think it was just these three items that we needed. Two, three, uh, it seems to be working. I just need to remember not to walk over that. We've got a full mana pool plus spare in there, so we might be able to make his first terror steel. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, uh, I moved the uh, power supply and this uh, solar panel for the spawner and the uh, lightning rod, and I've made it taller and have a bit bigger net on it. So it will have a greater chance of being hit by lightning, uh, and it works fairly well. It Obviously, I still need to sort it out properly, but uh, uh, yeah, I need a still need a better power source to my mind. Uh, but yeah, we'll manage it. It's it's working. That's the main thing. Uh, but yeah, that's still going. All right, over here for the diesel generator. Uh, I've sorted out the seeds. I think. As you can see, it's nice and full uh, because I swapped out using uh, wheat for pumpkins. Because wheat, uh, you may get an extra one seed uh, from harvesting it, and then even if you grind it down into flour, there's only like a 20% chance against some other seeds. With these, uh, you're guaranteed a minimum of four seeds per pumpkin. Uh, so I made a Ender.io automatic crafter here, which takes the pumpkin. It only shows one, but uh, it does make four. If I take one of these guys, it automatically fills up. And boom, four seeds there. Uh, that feeds directly into this. Any other spare pumpkin seeds will also go into this as well. So I've got 10,000 in here feeding directly into the uh, squeezer which makes the plant oil so no problems there that's sorted I've got more than enough stuff the night chest is full this thing's full uh, 
the actual uh, farm is also full. Uh, you may also notice that I've got a little bit of a pattern on the floor of this one as well uh, because I put some of that tilled garden soil and normal dirt so the pumpkins would actually grow onto it uh, because the problem I was having because I've got these sprinklers which I'll come to in a second uh, it grows grass so if I just left it as normal grass it would or dirt uh, it would turn into grass, then it would grow the actual these pits of grass on top of it, so the pumpkins wouldn't grow. <laughs> uh, but I did find out if I put this tilled garden soil down, uh, that it works really well. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, but the sprinkler system is all connected through to one system. These are... Uh, open block sprinklers and the water tank is also open blocks as well and they're all connected through mechanism pipes uh, and they all get the water source from here uh, which is uh, extra utilities with, with another world interaction upgrade feeding into this tank and then they all get fed everywhere you know, or the other one so the other thing I did which is quite simple to see uh, is I made a reed farm and I changed this from a potato farm uh, I don't know if I've done right or wrong because I think reeds grow a little bit faster uh, and what these are actually sit on are garden soil from Z tones uh, this is where a lot of things get a little bit confusing because there's a few different sorts of soils in this uh, but yeah you've got the same sort of thing you've got <laughs> Sugar canes in here being harvested for the stone hoe, and every time I get one grown, it will harvest it and it will go directly into this chest over here. In a little bit of influx now, but this is empty. Why is that empty? Ah, that's why I need to put a stone signal there. <laughs> there we go, and that will make the uh. What do you want to call it? The ethanol to make the diesel. Uh, but yeah, the sugarcane farm area, the ethanol. That is the main problem at the moment. I've got the seed sorted out. It's just making the ethanol, which is a little bit on the slow side. Hasn't that done yet? How long does that take to make? Um. Hello. Do I need my... Ooh. Give me my bag back, please. Do I need my wand? Did they, those items just despawn in front of my eyes or what? Where's my... My green blind? No, it's definitely not in that one. It appears I've misplaced my... Oh, no, it's not. It's there. Okay. No, they seem to have just disappeared. Why have they just disappeared? Oh, um, never mind. We'll figure that out, I. Eh? Right, but any, but sometimes it really is annoying. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'll figure that out later. Uh, obviously, if you know, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I was talking about the ethanol problem that I was having. Because uh, looking through the engineer's manual, uh, diesel generator, biofuel, make ethanol, um, that's all plant oil stuff there. It's all the same, melons are 80, wheat is 80, peaches are 80, sugar canes, apples, potatoes. Um, keep wondering about the melons. Would that be better? Because I don't know if that's going to mean it's a full melon block or a part melon block. Because if it's a part melon block, then I can get a lot more. I'm going to have to do some testing. Anyway, uh, 
I think I'm going to end this episode here. A little bit of a catch-up video. Hopefully next time we'll do a little bit of crafting. Um, maybe even visit a roguelike dungeon if we can find another one. Just for a little bit of fun. Maybe even try and get into the lower depths. That other one that we never really completed. Uh, especially now we've got a little bit more armor. And maybe we can convince someone to actually get onto the server and join us for it. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, so thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you did enjoy this uh, video today. I'm sorry, it's a little bit more of a disappointment one and a little bit of a catch up. Uh, but even if you did enjoy it, please remember to hit that like button. If you've got any hints, comments, or suggestions, feel free to put them in the comment section below. But once again, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.